what's up guys welcome back to my channel you guys i know i didn't post a video yesterday i was super super busy and um, i didn't have the chance to actually you know um put them um, film a video or edit it but yeah i got you guys i am back welcome back again to my channel my name is vicky for those of you who are seeing me for the very first time yeah <laughs> i'm the head girl of this channel okay please do well to subscribe like the video and leave your comment in the comment section you guys the Oscars housemates, eh, they've been giving us drama one to the other, to the other, to the other. So yesterday night, Biggie gave them like a tax, a fun tax to paint each other's face. Like they're going to put the names in the box and everybody's going to pick the name of the housemate. And it has to be the housemate of the opposite sex, like a guy to a, a girl you get. And you just, the girls are the ones to pick the names. So whichever name you pick, that's the name of the guy you're going to paint the face. Well, like you all know, Miracle, not the tire, Jesus. <laughs> Uriel picked White Morning and Donny picked uh, Adekunle. And I'm like, yeah, Miracle, true, don't the tire, Jesus. Because at this point, what Big Brother is saying is that paint, whatever paint you paint on the person's face is how you see the person what you think of the person and yet the person's painting that was more funny among these people that actually painted the people they were not in good terms with was adequately and doing his own you guys know that adequately and doing it, they had some unresolved issues from last season to the reunion and up till now they've not had they've not been able to settle it so what Donny did was Donny painted one side of Adekunle's face white, one side black, gave him a, a green dot on his forehead, gave him a red on his, I mean, is it a yellow on his nose, and then red on his lip. The white side depicts that Adekunle is, um, is, is two-faced. The white and black depicts that Adekunle is two-faced, you get, but he mostly shows people the white side, but the dark side is who he really is. The green on his forehead shows, signifies that Adekunle is intelligent or smart. The yellow on his nose depicts that Adekunle is a clown or something like that. And then the red on his lips is that Adekunle talks like a woman. In fact, that's what Adekunle explained what um, um, Donny did on his face to Big Brother. And what does the painting symbolize? Um, she said the white and black signifies that I'm a two-faced person. Um, the white part is the part that I show people and the black part is the part that I really am. The red on my lips is because I talk a lot like a woman. Um, the green on my forehead signifies that I'm an intelligent person. And to crown it all up, the yellow on my nose signifies that I'm a clown. Really, really funny because I feel like <laughs> Donny what was that. And Big Brother was like, okay, so what happened? And he was like, he actually um, drew what he felt about her, which is Adekunle actually painted Donny like a clown. <laughs> this problem. Is not about to solve anytime soon because these housemates they are aimed to be giving us a ride and then big brother it was just like a diary session and all of them came and they were talking Perry came and was telling big brother that he does not see the reason why they will be nominating suma that these people does not think that this thing is a game they would have made it look they, they should realize that they are here for a game so that there would have been a tie and the whole thing would have scattered blah 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 and all that you guys the whole drama for yesterday was really not so much do you guess but the one that actually made me put up my camera to give you guys this gist was Perry, Cross, Ike, and Kid Wire. They were really ganging up against Sissy and Alex. Okay, I don't know why I you guys are they could um a kid wire and then um, peril we are planning and the rest we are planning that they should be able to to you know, you know make cc and alex fight in paris was she knows that the both of them are not good with each other and they should stop holding them when they have issues so that they can fight get a strike or possibly be disqualified and i'm like Pere, you know, the thing that is really making me make this video is the fact that Pere is Sissy's friend outside or even if they were cordial, they, they, they were like very, very, a, a little bit closer than every other housemate. And Alex likes Pere, Pere likes Alex, or I don't know if Pere likes Alex, or Alex likes 
pair, but they, they 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 are always together. And I'm sure because the reason why the whole of Alex and Perry situation is is piping down really low is because of the fact that Sissy is involved in it. So she doesn't want to have anything to do with Sissy. And I understand that fact. But what is really paining me in this whole thing is the fact that Perry now is even involved in such conversation with the people that feel like you should be their friend or you are supposed to be their friend and i think ek or cross was like do you think that he doesn't think that they will get physical and per was like the both of them don't know how to control their anger the both of them if they leave them they will get physical and then they were planning on using the tax the Yes, at all. Yes, at all. Yes. 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 This environment, they believe, is all about content. Exactly. So trust me, there is a there is a thin line between that and just going to our top. Yeah. They would have the process, but. Uh, so today we'll be staying glued to our TV to see what this whole plan is going to be like. You get they were planning to use the tax like to put CC in charge, and then Cross was like, you know, they are visibly avoiding each other. So putting CC in charge will make Alex to withdraw. Do you get? And then they were like, okay, the models when they start modeling, CC will be in charge. When they start modeling, they will be like they need one more model, and that model will be like Alex. In fact, they are just trying to ignite something just trying to plan a way that the both of them will clash i'm like see you see I, I don't even understand why cc and alex have not been able to get over this thing but what is paining me the most is that Pere is utilizing this situation that is the reason why Pere, who is close to cc now comes to the house and is acting as if he is close with alex or he likes alex that's because he wants to use it against them these people came into this house for games but i'm i'm paying because i feel like no matter the money you don't betray friendship i feel do you get yeah but, but but the fact that you know how toxic this situation is the fact that you know how vile these ladies are towards each other and you are in the mix of that trying to stir up such such agreements with other people if it were other housemates that were having these plans and people they were talking about how to you know get rid of fellow housemates i will understand because here is the game so anything they, they can do anything to get to take take out their opponents or something like that but the fact that this person is my friend this person is somebody i like this person is somebody that you expect some level of loyalty from and he's in such conversation nah, 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 nah. to me i feel like no matter the excuse you want to give no matter what you want to say such conversation you shouldn't be found in the mix of such conversation do you get if other housemates are even bringing it up for you to have like a conversation about it i just felt like i just feel like you should not entertain it you should even be the one to tell them now nah, nah, no 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 because you know how toxic this thing was like these people were we are li they, they were physically literally a, a very 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 angry rivals you get and this will trigger both fans and audience watching the show yes that's part of the thing that's making the show be hey yeah be, be, be but come on now pair me i'm disappointed at pair anyway that's just all i have to say kidwire um ek and cross they can be excused because they just they they, they are not friends you understand and they can do anything to get their opponents out of the show is understandable but a friend Nah, 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 nah. Anyway, that's basically what I just came to. What, are, what do you think? Is it okay for Perry to do what she did? Yeah, I know it's a game, but I feel like the friendship thing should have been what would give him like a restraint. You get So what are your thoughts? Leave it in the comment section. I really want to hear from you guys what you think about how, what you think about it and if how I feel is valid or it's a game so anybody can play it anyhow they want. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment and subscribe if you have not subscribed. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.